So let's install the Mongo database. So how do we do that? Well, I go into the mongodb.com, I go to the download page, and then you have to pick your operating system. I have to admit right now I'm using Windows. I'm really not, a, uh, I'm not normally using Windows. I'm on a Mac right now, but I'm doing this for some lessons. So that's why I'm going to keep using Windows. You guys can pick your system here, whatever you want, and I will switch to uh, OS X later, but right now we'll do it on Windows. So I'm, I'm downloading this MSI, right? This guy right here. So let's just do that. It pops up. Do we want to do a newsletter thing? Well, I don't want that. And when you wait a bit, a few seconds, it'll start downloading 100 megabytes. I'll catch you guys when this is done. So the Mongo download is done, and I'm just going to run it here for my beautiful MSI here. I'm just double clicking it. It pops up with a pretty simple installer. I just do next, accept terms. This is the same for the Mac, by the way, so it doesn't matter. I'll do complete installation and I'll do an install. So I'll just wait a few seconds until this is done. I'll accept that I want to run this. It installs pretty quickly, so it shouldn't be a problem. Installation is complete. I'll say finish and I'm all done. So in the next lesson, let's try and use it. See you in the next lesson.